Hi everybody, welcome to another one of my videos about server modding uh, for DayZ, mainly for console, but all this does apply to PC as well. So I guess it's PlayStation, Xbox and PC. And in this video, we're going to look at server restarts. So your server basically is a, a little computer on a rack in the cloud. Now with Nitrado, these are shared servers. So it's not like you've got your own server. Um, it's actually on a, on a little computer that will be running lots of people's versions of DayZ on it. And you've got, an, you've got allocated resources for this server. But just like your computer at home that you're probably watching this on, or you know you, you surf the web on watch YouTube or play DayZ on, or, or just like your console, it's a good idea every now and again to turn it off and on again, you know, just to clear the memory down, to let it start again, and to let it run smoothly. And it's exactly the same thing with your servers. And luckily, we have a very easy way of doing that. So what you want to do is you want to go into your file browser, which is here. And um, on console, you'll go straight to the where the missions folders are. So it's PS missions for PlayStation, or say XB missions for Xbox. Um, on PC, you need to dig down a bit to, to them. To, I think it just says Daisy missions. And then if you're running Chernerus, you want to go into the Chernerus Plus folder. If you're running Livonia, you want to go into the Enoch folder. And you click on there. And then we want to go to the DB folder there, or the DB directory. And then we want to go into the uh, messages.xml folder. Now, this is a very cool little file. Um, and what this file does is on your server there's daisy.exe or daisyserver.exe so that's the program that's running you know and it's spawning in all the the zombies and it's 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 letting the players run around and doing all that amazing stuff and what that what daisy.exe does it looks at all these different files that we have access to for instructions on how to do things and one of those files is the messages.xml file and it looks at this file and says, have I got any instructions about any messages I should give to the players on this server and or starting and stopping the server? And this is how we how we tell it. Now, when we're editing these files, normally I don't recommend you do this live, like on the web, like this using this, the um, web interface. But when we're only changing a few things, it's not too bad as long as we're careful Always remember that if you type or delete the wrong thing, the file will stop working and your server might stop working. So just always bear that in mind. So let's just have a quick look at the file first. So this is the messages.xml file. We see we've got the name there. And then at the top, it just tells um, daisy.exe or daisy7.exe, tells what language it's in. So this is XML version 1.0, encoding U2F8, blah, blah, blah. And then it says, okay, so this is actually the messages uh, file. And then if we go to the bottom, it says, this is where the messages end. So in all these sort of XML files, you'll find you'll have a statement at the top that will probably tell you, tell Daisy DXE what the file is. And at the bottom, it will close it with like a closing slash and messages. So it says, well, okay, that's where the file ends. And also you'll find th things like this. So it'll be uh, left angle bracket, uh, exclamation mark, dash, dash. Now that means everything after this little bit of text is a comment. So daisy.exe should just ignore this. And then we've got all these bits here. And then here we've got dash, dash, right angle bracket. And so that means, okay, you can now start looking at the stuff that's underneath here and start acting on it. And this is really good because comments uh, are put there by the developers or ourselves to give us clues about what we should be doing or to explain things. And this one is explained very well. Um, and it says, example message. Number one, the following message will be displayed to every player in a countdown manner and shuts down the server in 10 hours from its start. So this is the instruction here. So it, says, oh, so it starts off with the instruction, opens it with message, and then you can see it closes it there with a backslash close message. So it says deadline 600. So that means 600 minutes. Uh, shut down one, so that means yes, so do a shutdown yes. And then text means want you to display to the people on this server the server name, hashtag name, so that will be whatever the name you put in uh, for your server, so scale speed of gaming server, will shut down in hash t minutes. Now, the daisy.exe will fill these bits in for you. You don't have to fill that bit in. So the server will automatically go, okay, in 10 minutes the server will shut down. Um, and then uh, scale speed of gaming server will shut down in five minutes. Scale speed of gaming server will shut down in one minute. 
and then it will shut down. And it displays it in red writing in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen for your players. Now, what we can do is we could say, okay, so 600 minutes, so 10 hours. I'd rather it was every four hours. So, for example, so if we did... Um, whoop, let's bring that up. Bring the calculator up. So if we did 60 minutes times four hours is 240 minutes. So what we could do, we could change that to very carefully 240. Now see how we've made sure that those angle brackets, we've kept, the, kept them. So deadline 240 minutes. Now, although we've changed that, because this statement is inside these remarks here, we need to move it outside of that. So all you would do, if you just um, sort of highlight all that, right click copy, and then go up to the top where it says messages, press enter a couple of times, and then paste it there. This is now outside of the remark bracket. So now when daisy.exe looks at the messages.xml, it goes, woohoo! There is an instruction for me to follow. So every four hours, I will start a countdown towards a shutdown, and I will tell the players, you know, in 10 minutes, in five minutes, in two minutes, in one minute. And so all we have to do at this point is we just need to scroll to the bottom, save the changes, and then restart our server, and that will then come into effect. And now we've got a lovely restart. Now, this doesn't mean your server won't crash, because trust me, these servers crash an awful lot, and you'll get people going, the server's not working, I can't find it, and then you have to have to restart it. But this is a way of hopefully keeping the server healthy by turning it off and on again every now and again. Now, underneath here, you'll see there's other examples that you can have pop up. So the following message will be displayed every 15 minutes to a player. You're playing on my server, and they will put the name in. Thank you. Following message will be displayed every 50 minutes and 10 minutes after the players connect. Check our webpage at daisy.com. And there's another one that says, welcome to my server that they see after two minutes. Now, personally speaking, I don't think you need those. And the reason for that is because the writing that the server um, does that tells people about this in the bottom left-hand corner is very small and very hard to read. And I don't think you want to be confusing your players with lots of different messages because often the writing will appear and you, you'll be like, what does that say? And if everybody's just aware that all it ever says is in relation to a server shutting down, they can look and go, okay, it says something about 10 minutes. Okay, server's going to shut down in 10 minutes. Right, I've got to make sure, you know, my character's safe. Maybe I'll stop driving. Maybe I'll make sure I've got everything in my hands or that sort of stuff. But if you span them with lots of different messages that they can't read anyway because the writing's too small, they're more likely just to ignore those messages and they'll be driving along, the server will restart, and maybe they'll wake up smashed into a tree and dead or something like that, and they won't be happy. So my advice when it comes to server messages is keep it simple. Just go with the restart message. Do it every four six or six hours and, uh, and stay with that, and then you'll have a relatively healthy server. As I say, it will keep on crashing, because they do, and you will have to do physical restarts. So to do a physical restart, you just click on restart if, it does, if it's not working. Um, and you know that, actually we should go back, because of the state of the server here. So, so it won't be green, it'll either be red or it'll be yellow. Yellow is normally restarting, or if you use the DAISY, uh, the, if you use the Nitrido app on your phone, you'll, you'll see the same thing, and you can go in and you can just do a restart. So there we go, editing messages XML. Hopefully that's useful. Um, remember, if you've enjoyed the video, hit like if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, the usual stuff. But what I really want to hear from you is your questions. So if you've got questions about server maintenance, editing servers, anything to do with DayZ and modding and servers, please put in the comment section down below because that's what I use to drive the content for this channel. Either I'll know the, quest the answer to the question and I'll create a video about it, or I will find the answers and create a video about it. There we go. So thank you very much, and I'll see you again soon.